my god, Brandon. What? What the heck is that? <gasps> Look at like the stuff on his head, like his gills. They're so cool. There is everyone. Oh. Whoa. We got one. Ready? Ready? What's up, VFE Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're gonna be heading out to the Florida Everglades in search for something I've never caught before and that I just recently found out you can catch here in the wild, here in South Florida. Now, in one of my previous videos, I met a subscriber and he showed me something that he caught in the Florida Everglades and it blew my mind. It was in one of my videos, you guys might remember it. We were driving down looking for the koi and we met a subscriber. Hey, Luis, how are you guys? Show him what you caught. Oh my God. Right. It's pretty close that where you insane. where you caught That's an the... axolotl. You caught an axolotl in the wild. I've yes. never heard that before. Yeah, that's something. Like oh, that this. big? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That big. Where you caught the fire eel? Oh yeah, the fire. Oh yeah, oh, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. So this How did you one catch is in it? with the the jet net with that net. Oh. Basically, he said he caught an axolotl in the Everglades. Now, I was freaking out. I was like, dude, there's no way he caught an axolotl. Like, this is groundbreaking. I've never seen anyone catch one before. So we got some giant nets. We're gonna be going to the Florida Everglades and see if we can catch an axolotl to bring back here. I've never had an axolotl as a pet. A lot of you guys have wanted me to get one recently. So I figured, hey, might as well try my luck and try to get one in the wild. So yeah. So we're gonna head inside right now because we wanna be prepared in case we do get one. I'm gonna set up a tank for it. But yeah, guys, we're at the koi pond right now. Check it out, a little, little quick update. There's Bruce right there. There's Goldie, the two stars of the show. There's the arowana. The arowana is putting on some size, right, Brandon? Oh yeah, that thing's thing there. huge now. <gasps> look how big the bristle nose. Him. Yeah, look how big That's it is. That's mine. I caught him. That thing's massive. But yeah, guys, we just went to the pet store, picked up some sand and like a little rock for this axolotl. Let's go set up the tank now, and then we're gonna head out there, start netting around, and see if we can get one. All right, guys. So we got. Hey, we already got a fish tank in here. This is gonna be the axolotl tank. Oh, blue look, crawfish. There's still blue crawfish in here now. This used to be the crawfish tank. We had that white one in there, the two blue ones. Now, unfortunately, I haven't told you guys this yet, but two, the two blue ones fought and I guess one killed the other. I just showed up one day and one was dead. I thought one was a male and one was a female, but I guess I was wrong. I guess they were both males. And the white one, they started fighting, so I just put the white one in the cichlid pond. But we're redoing this whole thing. There's going to be no crawfish in here. If we catch an axolotl, we're going to move this blue crawfish somewhere else. We have some supplies right here. Check it out. We got Ooh. some sand. Oh, we got this little rock thing for the axolotl to go in, you know, like a little cave. Because these are like big rocks. I'm just going to put the sand over the rocks and kind of create like a cool little substance for this axolotl. So I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna give this tank a little makeover and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right guys, the tank is all set now. We just have to wait for it to clear up and everything. I stirred it up cause you know, new sand and all that, but check it out. You'll be able to see a lot better once it clears up, but it looks really cool. We got, you know, half rock, half sand everywhere. We got his little cave there. We got a bunch of rocks here, another little cave. So guys, we're gonna go to the Everglades right now and net around. He gave us the spot so we know where they're gonna be. We know where he's caught it. We're gonna try and get one. And by the time we come back, this should be good to go, crystal clear. And then hopefully we have an axolotl to put in there, guys. This is gonna be epic. We'll see you out there. Guys, we're here at the spot now. This is the spot my subscriber said he caught the axolotl at and if you are a big watcher of the channel and you would recognize it. This is where I caught that giant fire eel within one of these pipes. And that's why he came here in the first place. He saw that video, he recognized the spot. He was like, I wanna go catch a eel. So he went here, he didn't catch a eel, but he caught an axolotl. So I'm gonna show you guys where he caught it. All right guys, we're here. This is where he caught this axolotl. He had a net just like this and he was netting around in here and he caught it. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna net around in here and it goes on forever. So. We're gonna net this whole thing. I'm literally gonna be out here all day until I catch one of these things. I want one so bad. We got our trusty bucket here for all the cool stuff we catch. There's also croaking garamis here and I've caught a few of those. There's some really cool stuff. So let's get to netting, see if we can get one. Some little fish. Just looks like little mosquito fish maybe. Ugh. 
I feel good about that scoop. That was a good one. No, nothing. I don't know where these things sit, and they're nothing. I don't know how they got here too, because I'm pretty sure they're not native. I'm also pretty sure axolotls are like super rare, even where they come from. Like, I'm pretty sure they're endangered, no? Gotta be careful of the gators and the snakes. We are in the Everglades. Ugh. Come on, man. This is crazy, you guys. I, I have no information on how they got here, why they're here. If you know anything about axolotls in the Florida Everglades, let me know. I don't know, I'll try everything. I'll try the bottom. What was that? I do not know. Th that was something though, right? I don't know what that was. That scared me though. I just want my axolotl. Right, look how pretty that is. Is that a warm mouth? I think so. That's the biggest fish we've caught today. <laughs> We're micro fishing today, boys. Look at that, we're gonna toss him back. Oh, he goes so deep. Ooh. Oh, that was a good scoop. Oh, I can tell that was a good one. Ew. Dude, what is this stuff? Really deep right there, bro. Hit me with a stick, bro. <laughs> Am I hitting you? Yeah. Ow. Oh my God, Brandon. What? What the heck is that? <gasps> what? <laughs> what, what? Is that, dude? dude, that thing's pink. That's actually the coolest thing I think I've ever caught. Oh my gosh. Brandon, look at that. You see the colors on the Dude, that? what? Oh my gosh. Is he like, like breeding or something that makes him that color? I've caught one that's like really orange before, but never like, this one looks like it's a mixture of like a white one and an orange one. Look how cool that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it's not an axolotl, but it's a really cool crawfish. I'll Guys, it. comment what kind of crawfish that is. I'm really bad with crawfish. I've caught blue ones before, white ones, orange ones. Red, white, blue. Yeah, and I, I don't understand what makes them this color. I don't understand if it's the same species or, like, something really special. I don't know. Let's go get the bucket. Do it again. Oh! <laughs> this thing is so cool. Well, we're definitely taking that thing home. We're keeping that for sure. It's like a peach color. See that? We should call him Peachy. This is Princess Peach. I think it's a female too. Leave a comment saying Princess Peach in the comments, guys. <laughs> should we do like a couple? Let's see if there's anything over here. Yeah. Uh, I don't give up very often, but we've been out here for like, how long? Like an hour? Mm -hmm. And we have caught yeah. literally nothing except that crawfish. Ew. And guys, Bobby's freaking crying because he didn't catch one yet. I'm not crying. You literally, you literally set up a tank and you didn't even catch the I'm fish. I'm not crying. It, I'm done. Like, I'm actually done. It's been like two hours in this heat. We have no water. It's... Oh, wait. <gasps> Give me this. Dude, that was my fish water. My get away. We caught literally nothing. We caught like a bluegill and a crawfish. Even though the crawfish is cool, like, I wanted an axolotl. So, I'm probably still going to post this video because that crawfish is really cool. I don't know. We might do something else. Oh, Marsh Trail. Oh, look, Marsh Trail. Hell yeah. Marsh Trail sounds axolotl y, right? <gasps> oh my god, Brandon. What's oh up? my god, the day is hamped. Did you see that? Dude, this is so sick. We're in like the swamp right now, and there's this little creek. Oh, it is a little creek. Dude, look how sick this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, this is it. This is where we're gonna get one, 100%, right? The honey hole. Oh. Dude, this could be it. You think this is it? I think so. Brandon, there's a giant fish back there. It's like a big gar or a snakehead. <gasps> what is that? Oh! Oh! Oh my god, what was that? I see minnows, more minnows. Yeah, I feel like if I net up like under all that stuff, I could possibly get something. This is like right down the street from where it is, so they probably connect. Oh, there's definitely fish in there. Go jump over there. Oh. Should I net? Yeah. Look, there's like a little wedge there. Oh yeah. That's the same crap from last time, bro. There's nothing. How am I not catching anything in here? There's like a little tide pool over here. Alright. Uh -huh. Is there any life? Oh, 
Oh, dude. What? Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, look, look, look. What? Look, look. Get I close. don't see anything. Holy crap. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get in the net. Get in the net. Oh my gosh, we did it. I can't believe it. There's actually axolotls in here. Oh my God. It's like a big salamander. I've never seen one before. It's green. Oh, oh my God, I love him. I love him so much. Oh my God, this is so cool. Dude, look how sick that thing is. I am so happy right now. Oh, he's so cute. Wait, can they breathe air too? No idea. Or are they to be in the water? I don't know anything about him. Oh, he's so cute. Look how cute he is. Guys, can you tell I'm happy right now? <laughs> happy birthday. It is so sick. Oh my gosh. Guys, get a look at that. I think this one's a lot bigger than the one he caught. He said the one he caught is like this big. This guy's a lot bigger. Oh my God. Hey, baby. Oh, he's, oh, he's, is he gulping air? I don't know. Guys, comment stuff about axolotls. I know nothing about them. Look at like the stuff on his head, like his gills. They're so cool. It's like a half fish, half lizard right there. Okay, well, we found the spot, dude. There's gotta be more. They gotta be loaded in this place. Let's get them in the bucket and we'll keep looking for more. Now I saw him cause he's like a little blue. You see that? Yeah, I see that. Like he's a, he's glossy. So I was moving through the creek and I was stirring up the, uh, the water a little bit and I saw this little blue thing. Like it shined almost. I don't know how to describe it. It's like really shiny. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I love him. It's like the coolest thing. Oh, he's swimming. He's swimming. Hey, baby. Guys, I don't know what to say right now. I got me an axolotl, dude. I am like beaming with excitement right now. Guys, already, right now, comment a name. We're keeping this guy. He's our new pet. Comment a name for an axolotl. You're just walking the snake infested canal. I don't care, bro. I know there's snakes in here, I'm, bro. I know there is too. I, I literally grew up But it's up worth it, here. bro. Axolotls. Just look for like a glossy blue thing, you know? Oh yeah. Cause like their skin shines. They don't have scales, they have like skin. I swear if I see a python. Uh, come in, Axolotl. Oh. I feel like randoming, I feel like netting around randomly doesn't work because I saw that one. I think you gotta spot him first. Oh, there's a jaguar. What? Yeah, a jaguar took that. I just saw him. He went back there. I don't have a rod though. Guys, we already covered the whole creek. It's like very tiny. Like it goes from there to like there. There's no space. I feel like they're I feel like they're tucked up under the ledges, but I'm kind of scared of snakes right now. And I already know there's gonna be a snake under the ledge. I'm not sticking my hand under any ledges. Do they come out at like night? Maybe we come back at night with like a spotlight and look for them. But mission accomplished. That's all that matters today. We actually freaking got one. They are real. They do exist here in the Everglades. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to say. This is just the coolest thing ever. And we came across this little tiny creek and it paid off. We actually got, oh, oh my God, he's crazy. I didn't know they were that feisty. I thought they were like mellow. Look, let's get one more shot of you, buddy. Come on, we gotta show the BFP Nation. Dude, that's so sick. That's like a big salamander. They're like salamanders. I've never seen one before. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, what do we name him, Brandon? We'll be back for sure. We're gonna come back and try to get more axolotls, but we're good with one today. We're gonna head to my house now. 10,000 likes and we're gonna come back maybe at night with a spotlight and we're gonna try and like really load up on them, like catch like 50 of them or something. I don't know how many there is in here. And we're gonna acclimate this guy to his new tank. We got one. We have an axolotl. I'm so happy. We'll see you guys back in my house. Dude, these freaking animals are so, I don't even, is this a fish or a reptile, amphibian? I don't even know. Oh, he's so weird looking. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's buddies with the crawfish. Oh, look at him. All right, we're home. Yes. Please be alive. <gasps> there he is. <laughs> he's alive. Oh, thank God. Guys, we're going to throw this guy and the blue one into the liquid pond. I guess that's where we're putting all the cool crawfish now. Wait, he's actually going nuts. I didn't realize they were that quick, though. I thought they were, like, slow. Oh, easy, dude. Come on, come on. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Ah! Oh, dude, he's going, he's going freaking crazy right now. 
crazy. <laughs> Let me go, you guys. Should I get the blue one out first? Yeah. Oh, I got him. Don't pitch me. Oh, there's our blue one who's been fighting with the others. There is everyone. All right, we're going to acclimate this axolotl because this water is a lot colder. We're going to acclimate them here. The tank is still a little cloudy because, you know, we got a lot of new sand. It's got to get filtered, but it should clear up soon. Before we put the axolotl into the tank, we're going to get both of these crawfish into the cichlid pond. There we go. Ah, stop it. <laughs> Look how pretty. Dude, this one's like super red. Wow. I love colorful crawfish like this. They are so pretty. There he goes. Let's hope the big freaking oh 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 he made it. He's in the rocks. It is the rocks. There goes the blue one. Let's see if he can make it. <laughs> oh, quick, get in the rocks, dude. Oh, go, dude. He's so he's so dumb. Him off. Go, go. Oh, he's fighting him off with his one claw. There he goes. He's in the rocks. That's the scary part, is getting them down there. Once they're down there, they're chilling, they're in the rocks, they can hide. Let's go acclimate this axolotl to the tank. So cool. Guys, once again, coming to name for him right now. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, ready? Here we go. Get close. There's our axolotl going into the tank. Three. Where's it gonna go? Two. One. I say left. There he goes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Straight into his hut? No way. No, left. Dude, he's so cool. He looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, what did he just do? He just like did something. Oh, he did it again. Okay, guys, I have decided to film the rest of the axolotl video the next day just because the tank is a lot more clear now and you can actually see him. So he's been in here for a full day now and he is looking really good. It looks like he started digging like right here because that was not like that before. It looks like he's digging. Oh my gosh, maybe, dude, maybe it's pregnant. Maybe it's like laying eggs, I don't know. If you guys know anything about axolotls and why they dug this, let me know. I don't know if that means something, but yeah. I fed it a little piece of tilapia earlier and it did eat, so it's already eating. Mr. Axolotl is doing okay. There he is, dude, you're so cool. I love, it. oh, he's digging back there too. Leave a comment right now for our new Axolotl. But yeah, we finally got one. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should add to it, let me know, but yeah. So that was absolutely insane. You know, that doesn't happen too often here where we have a plan, we try to go out and catch a specific thing and we actually get it done. Like I had to set up that tank this morning cause I was like, you know what? I think today is the day we try to catch an axolotl. Go down there like this video guys. Like I said, 10,000 likes and we'll go back at night with a spotlight and try to catch more. Also comment a name for our axolotl. I'm gonna be picking a name and giving you guys a shout out in my next video. Subscribe if you haven't already guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.